Good day, learners! Welcome to another fun and exciting lesson. In the previous lesson, you have learned that conductors are materials that allow heat and electricity to pass through easily, while insulators are materials that do not allow heat and electricity to pass through them. This time, you will learn how light interacts with different materials. Have you seen an artwork on stained glass? Stained glass are seen in churches, art museums, and even in some houses. The design of stained glasses are achieved through the use of glasses with various colors and hues, making them a sight to behold. The light that is visible to the human eye is called visible light. It is a small part of the electromagnetic spectrum which affects our vision. Light is propagated in space as electromagnetic waves. This is known as electromagnetic wave theory of light. The primary source of visible light is the sun. The visible light allows us to see the color that is not absorbed by the objects. For example, you see most plants as green because the leaves absorb all colors of the visible light except for green. To understand light further, you have to learn how it interacts with different objects. This branch of science is called optics. Optics is the study of refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. Refraction refers to the bending of light as it passes through different materials. For example, the pencil in the glass of water appears bent because of the different parts of the materials that interact with light. The part of the pencil that is not dipped in water interacts with the water. Light moves faster in air than in water. When light travels from air to water, its speed decreases. A medium is optically dense if it slows down the speed of light. This is why the pencil looks bent. While reflection refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Some objects with flat surfaces, like mirrors, reflect light in a straight and predictable way. Some objects with an even surfaces, like rocks, reflect light in a scattered way. Absorption It refers to materials taking in light but not reflecting it back. For example, when light strikes a black surface, it is absorbed by the surface and nothing is reflected. Then we have transmission, which refers to the passing of light through some materials. For example, when light passes through a glass window, it is transmitted to the other side, allowing the light to pass through the window. Different materials have different ways of transmitting light. Transparent materials allow all lights to pass through them. Clear plastic and glass windows are examples of transparent objects. Translucent materials allow some lights to pass through them. Stained glasses and frosted windows are examples of translucent objects. While opaque materials do not allow light to pass through them. Concrete walls, wooden doors, and mirrors are examples of opaque objects. To sum it up, optics is the study of refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. Refraction refers to the bending of light, while reflection refers to the bouncing back of light, Absorption refers to a material taking in of light, and transmission refers to the passing of light. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from the discussion. Kita kids in the next lessons. Until next time, goodbye!